Just a love Just another technical romance on the screen. Keep you on frame and I whisper your name till the picture fades. Feeling is already gone. I don't know what I'm going on. Can't remember. which came out uh, one of the years back. And uh, I, it's one of the few tunes I ever wrote on the road. I was down in Brazil, and uh, I forget, as the, as the guest of Antonio Carlos Jobim, which is pretty good. And uh, I came down to record, and recorded with some Brazilian musicians, and then came back to LA and worked with some Los Angeles guys. Joe Sample and Larry Kaufman. Yeah. And, um, I got to my hotel there, which is a beautiful hotel called the Copacabana Palace. Oh, yeah. and beautiful suite. And um, I looked out the window and I just picked up a guitar and wrote this next tune. That's never happened since. I wish it would have happened. Yeah. Uh,
here. Uh, somebody uh, just just before the show asked me if I still do a lot of running, and uh, I would have liked to, you know, lie and say yes. But I used to run like 50 miles a week, and I was training for uh, you know, a triathlon sort of thing, and uh, I got heel spurs. I met you know, some of these runners. I, you know, runners are crazy, you know. And, and some of the runners I was with said, "Oh, I have those. You just keep running, and you know, they'll just break off." And I said, "I don't think I'm going to do that." But uh, I still went a little bit, and uh, as I was rehabbing my the rest of my legs from all the running, I started doing something called deep water running, where you you get into a pool in the deep end and you have this little flotation belt and these two little foam dumbbells. And you feel great actually, but you do have to, you know, relinquish your vanity because you look kind of silly. You know? <laughs> yeah. If anybody's watching, they have to kind of swallow your pride. But it was a good it's a good rehab that day. I recommend it. And this is this song was written when I used to do it when I was doing 50 miles a week. It's called Long Slow Distance. Some strength to snatch the pride My goal the far horizon I guess I'm obsessed Listen, this path speed strong and steady My pace won't stop when I hit the wall I just fall by the wayside He exhausted but I'm no coward I'm so proud As long as I know that you'll be there with me Face to face When I break the tape We kiss when we cross the finish line Some play the tempo game. I hear a different rhythm to you. Hear it too. For the long slow distance. My stride is smooth and
Charles Bozak on piano. On the drums, Dan O'Kodu. On bass, Sean Connolly. On sax, Toro Musica. On percussion, Manolo Bajena. Birchfield Nights came out uh, back in 71. Thank you. <laughs> I, have, I have recently moved to New York and uh, yeah, grew up in Southern California. So I've been on Warner Brothers for a few years. And <clears throat> nobody would believe that anybody, a Californian, would want to move to New York. But I always loved the idea of New York, and I loved New York every time I visited. I don't care. I mean, I mean, I and uh, this was the first song that I wrote when I just moved here. I used to play for uh, I used to play Columbus a lot, Columbus, Ohio, and uh, uh, yeah. and my I uh, have nieces there. They were little at the time. They would say, Uncle Michael, can you play that song about the cookies and the cookie jar? I'm sure they had no idea what the song was really about.
This one in Pops at the Toes, they're always there. Nice. Oh, have no fear. Uh, I've told you this story a few hundred times, but it is true. I was up at the, uh, I was playing in Boston, I was at the Boston Opera House, and I was on the bill with Miles Davis, which seemed incredible. I, I had never met Miles, and uh, I was actually kind of afraid to meet him. His, his reputation preceded him. He was really sweet to me. He came over and uh, embraced me. And I stayed in his dressing room for about an hour. And he said, Michael, sit down and play that song you wrote with my name in it. <laughs> I said, Absolutely, yes, sir. <laughs>
baby loves to fly The lady wants to know the reason why Daddy's just like a dream Baby's just like mine The lady's just like heaven And she smiles Still feels great. Everything takes longer, but everything feels great. Great as ever. Yeah, I'm only talking about Sony. These guys have dirty minds. And now, I wanted to, uh, you know, with, with you uh, yesterday, uh, I got to meet Muhammad Ali once, which was pretty amazing. It was, it was uh, you know, in, in the years, uh, BCP for camera bombs. I think it was about 1981. <clears throat> I had played a, a gig in uh, Detroit at the Fox Theater. All right. and, uh, I was with, my son was with me. I think he was about 12 years old, maybe. And uh, we went back to the hotel, and I, some people in the elevator, a couple of guys in the elevator, said, Hey, you know, Michael, can you sign something for a friend of ours? And I said, Sure, yeah. So we go up to this room and they open the door and there's Muhammad Ali. Wow. And, uh, right. and he's very sweet and, you know, just, he was, you know, he was late, he was tired, I'm sure, but he invited us in and we sat down and we talked with him for probably a half an hour. And he was really the sweetest 
God radio. Right. Such a sweet yeah. Yeah. This next one uh, is also about somebody I had the pleasure of meeting. Charles and I had the pleasure of meeting, thanks to Manolo, who was in um, his band for many, many years. And uh, so we dedicate this song. You'll hear his name. It comes up in the last verse, I think. All right. Ahmad Jamal. Oh, Ahmad Jamal. Oh, Struggling to remain in earth Now that the sun is here Now that the sun is here I'll play it all day I'll look and wait And I'll be like a fire fly I'll say
Happy birthday. You know, we, uh, we used to play, uh, we still occasionally play New Orleans, and we used to play the House of Blues a lot down there. And, uh, we, were, uh, we were down there, and I was you know, starving. I went, to, uh, uh, I went to the sound check, and I went out. There used to be a great little vegetarian slash vegan restaurant, which suited me, so I went out and tried to find it. Couldn't, either I couldn't find it or it didn't exist anymore. And so I hurried back to the club just in time to make the show. And of course, there was a huge line outside uh, the House of Blues. And I had to, get to, you know, had to get through the line to get to the stage door. And then you also had to rap really hard on the stage door, you know, because there was nobody waiting there, <laughs> which would have been a good plan, actually. The House of Blues didn't think of that one. And uh, so I had to get through the line, and you know, the line was being, you know, sort of directed. And there was this young kid right near the stage door area. He was, he was directing the line, and so I tried to, you know, sneak through. I excused myself and tried to sneak through. And this couple walked by, and they obviously didn't have tickets. And so they asked this kid right as I was coming past, and I said, "Who's playing tonight?" And the kid said. I don't know, some old jazz guy. <laughs> I had a feeling he wasn't right That's for the diplomatic corps. But, uh, and, uh, that's right. And this is one that, that we played there and everywhere a uh, million times. It's called Eggplant. <laughs> She 
just this was happening way back before, before, but nevertheless it was very real. Like it was yesterday, my ears hear the music, my hands were blessed to play. Inside that picture that took command. I'm drinking my
seldom if ever true. Now it's a periscope. Got no reason to recommend me. I'm way over 22, 32, 42, 50, 62. <laughs> inspires these songs and uh, I guess most of it's pretty obvious but um, this next one there's a little story behind it I was uh, house sitting for my producer Tommy Lapun who produced my early records at Warner Brothers and he and his wife went to Europe and he said would you uh, house sit for us and I said sure I, I lived in a uh, funky little apartment at the time uh, down in Venice, Venice Beach. So they had a beautiful house. Okay, go on for Venice Beach. <laughs> they had a beautiful house uh, out in the San Fernando Valley with a pool, and they had a housekeeper and everything. So I thought, well, this is just three weeks, going to be the easiest thing, and I was, you know, happy to do it. And so I moved in, and uh, the housekeeper was there, and all of a sudden, people started dropping by and, you know, wanted to stay for a couple of nights. And it didn't seem right. And, uh, but uh, an old friend of mine, Dan Hicks, Dan Hicks and his hot legs, Dan Hicks, uh, he came by, and, and he had, he'd been a, he was also an, art, an artist on Warner Brothers at the time. And he said he wanted to stay, and uh, he was practicing ventriloquism. He had ventriloquist done. The housekeeper started inviting, you know, friends and relatives over. It turned out to be a real disaster. And uh, it did inspire this next two.
feel your warm bracelet touch your Panama by your tiara down from my nose. I'm your late always frozen. You gotta see some to the unthought. Popsicle toes are always from Popsicle toes Let's warm up your igloo with this basic beat You're so brave to explore So 
you. Thanks everyone. Yeah. 